Perkins! Campania! Peace! Oh! Caesar speaks! Campania! Tell you directly in Antonius' way, let him dart run his course. Antonius! Caesar, my lord! Forget not in your speed, Antonius, to touch Campania for our elders say. The band touch in this holy chase shake off the stale course. I shall remember when Caesar says do this, it shall be done. Sit on and leave no ceremony out. Flourish! Caesar! Ha! Who is it in the press that calls on me? I hear a tongue, shriller than all music. Cry Caesar! Caesar is turned to hear! Beware! The eyes of more! What man is that? After terrifying Julius Caesar and Antony, Brutus and Cassius decide to discuss matters inside. Brutus, I do observe you now, have not from your eyes that gentleness and show of love you bear too stubborn over your friend that loves you. <coughs> oh, servant man. Cassius, be not deceived. If I have viled my look, I turn the trouble of my countenance merely upon myself. Cassius, be you one that that poor Brutus with himself at war Forgets the show of love to other men. Would you guys care for some cupola? Sure. Okay. Then, Brutus, I have much mistook your passion. Tell me, good Brutus, can you see your face? No, Cassius, for the eyes see not itself, but by reflection, by some other thing. Why don't we stick with some Pellegrino? Go away. Are you sure? Positive. Okay. It is very much lamented, Brutus, that you have no such mirrors that you might see your shot. Oh. Speaking of Brutus, this age's yoke have wished that no, no be Brutus had his eyes. And to what dangers would you love me, Cassius? That of yourself, which you know not of, that I do fawn on me and hug them hard. Flourish and shout. Another yes. care for some peppers. No peppers. Okay. And another general shout for some new honors that are heaped on Caesar. Why, man, he doth bestride the narrow world like a colossus, and we petty men walk under his huge legs and heap about. My noble friend, to upon this, Brutus had rather be a villager than to repute himself a son of Rome. How about a potato? No potatoes! Okay. I'm glad that my weak words have struck fire from Brutus. Games are done. Caesar is returning. As they pass, pluck Caesar by the sleeve. <clears throat> Capernaum's cheek is pale. And Cicero looks with fiery eyes. Antonius! 
Caesar. Cassius has a lean and hungry look. Such men are dangerous. Fear him not, Caesar. He is a noble Roman. After discussing important information with Julius Caesar, a flashback is told by Brutus, Cassius, and Casca. You pulled me by the cloak. Would you speak with me? Aye, Casca. Tell us what hath chanced today that Caesar looks so sad. Why? Were you with him? Were you not? I should not then ask Casca what had chanced. Why, there was a crown offered to him, and being offered to him, he put it on with the back of his hand thus, and the people fell a-shouting. What was the second noise for? Why, for that too. They shouted thrice. What was the last cry for? Why, for that too. Was the crown offered him thrice? Ay, Mary was, and he put it on thrice, every time gentler than the other, and every putting by mine honest neighbor shouted. Who offered him the crown? Why, Antony, tell us the manner of it, gentle Casca. Caesar refused the crown that it almost choked Caesar, for he swounded and fell at it, and for my par own part, I dares not laugh for fear of opening my lips and receiving the bad air. But soft, I pray you, what did Caesar swoon? He fell down in the marketplace and foamed at the mouth, and he was speechless. Tis very like, he hath the following sickness. No, Caesar hath it not, but you and I, and honest Casca, we have the falling sickness. I know not what you mean by that, but I am sure Caesar fell down. If the tag rag people did not clap him and hiss him according as he pleased, and displeased him, as they used to do the players in the theater, I am no true man. After that detailed, long, and rather dramatic explanation, Brutus and Cassius were completely filled in on what had happened. However, little did Caesar know that Brutus and Cassius would plan an assassination on Caesar himself. Oh wait, start over. I So I heard you like bagel bites. What? <laughs> Go. Bid every no- <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. 